Hey, I want to say something. Um, you know, mediocrity, mediocrity, mediocrity. I tell you, you know, when did America become wusses? Mediocrity, wuss, wuss, wussies. You know, when did when did American men become wusses? When did the spirit of America become mediocrity? Uh, it's five forty four. When? When did mediocrity become acceptable? When you become a mediocre, a mediocre, and acceptable, you know, I I just heard this guy say that I would never want to be, you know, who would want to be homosexual? How is homosexuality a choice? He said, who would choose to be homosexuality? Who would? And then he says, who would choose? to be black during the times of Jim Crow. Now, you know what, I've heard this before, like, you know, black people wanting to be another nationality, and I actually, or black people not wanting to be black because of the suffering, I've never felt like that. I've never not wanted to be black, you know? And I've heard people say that, say that, but I never could understand. I mean, even given the situation, you know, you can't, you know, that is who I am, my blackness, you know, you know, I mean, that is, is what makes me see the directions that I see things, the perspectives that I see things, you know, my cultural black background, you know. All right, let me joke a little bit. I like being able to go out in the sun and not use any suntan, you know? You know, there's some very, very simple, rudimentary kind of things that are being black, you know? You know, I like being able to touch my own hair, you know? I, and feel its own texture. And I like to be able to touch somebody else's hair and know that it is it's a different texture. You know, I walk up to girls, plain and simple, uh, white girls, and say, oh, your hair is, I don't know them. Oh, your hair is so pretty. Can I touch it? And they'd be like, yeah, I like that. Because <laughs> it's different, you know. But anyway, uh, you know, I think that, you know, what a big problem is, is that people don't know are ignorant. They think people are ignorant. And people that you can just pull a whammy and, and all of that over people. I mean, they, they act like, come on, I'm a grown man, right? I'm, I've been 17 years old. You think I don't know about homosexuality? I know men, homosexuality men, that have come up. I, you know, I've had... You know, it's embarrassing to talk about because, you know, I don't want it to seem vain. But quite honestly... The vain vanity is a trip, you know, and a lot of homosexuals will appeal to your vanity. So if you've been told you're you're a piece of crap all your life, and then or nobody in your family loves you or anything like that, they turn their back on you, you know, they try to do you over, uh, all kinds of stuff, you know. I mean, you know, family is family. Let's be, you know, this is just raw truth, you know. Um, no, no, uh, no sweetener, raw, true, without any sugar. Okay, you know, you know, everybody knows family is the hardest social group to ever come up in. And, you know, the more family you have, sometimes the harder it is because you're dealing with all kind of personalities. You know, like, let me tell you something. My brothers, I have seven brothers, okay? Seven. Okay, now the apple don't fall from the tree. If I'm a handsome guy, then, <laughs> then my brothers have to be pretty handsome guys, you know? So, you know, if I'm getting women, then they get women. Now, I've been in New York for 15 years, you know? So that means they've been in this city. I've had seven brothers that been in this city, handsome guys in this city, and they got to get women too, you know? And some of them, <laughs> I ain't gonna go here anyway. But um, 
You know, so when I come back in town, one of the reasons why I don't deal and why I am alone is because my brothers that have most of the women here. <laughs> I mean, really, come on, I got seven brothers. I mean, and that's a range. I got brothers that are as young as 35. I'm 47, right? I think that my brothers is, is 35. Yeah, uh, no, t- yeah, maybe 38, 37, uh, my youngest brother. Um, I think he's um, 10 years older, I think, or 11, I don't know. But um, anyway, that's a, like a whole decade of generations, you know, and it's like stair steps, you know. So a lot of the women, I have to be careful. I have to ask the women, do they know any other threes? And and that's not good enough because some of them don't know their last name. I have to ask them, do they know each one of my brothers by name before I go jump? Because jump, I feel now, they don't feel, my brothers don't feel it's, it's improper. But I feel it's improper for me to sleep with a woman that my brothers have already slept in, slept with, you know. You know, now I've had my brothers take women since I've been here. <laughs> you know, go after women and oh well, I met and then the woman will say, "Well, I knew him first. You know, now that's the case with Della. Della is a gorgeous woman, and I first saw her. I didn't know she was in, had anything to do with one of my brothers. Okay, but and I thought my brothers would actually jock at me, but actually. He knew her first. He knew her when he, she was 15, you know, and she, you know, and we didn't know that they knew, you know, I met her in the club, he, you know, and so, you know, you know, and that's the case even with older women. So, you know, I got pictures of me with some of the, <laughs> some of the women that my brothers hugged up with some of the women my brother is dating. So I'm really careful because first thing, you know, I don't let oh, anybody come in between my brothers. That's. That's me personally. Now, they might not value me the same way, but, you know, I have standards, okay? And so, and plus, I have control over my body, you know, to to, to that degree that be, the, to say that I, who I sleep with or not, you know? So, what homosexuals are saying that you don't have a choice is they're literally telling and we're accepting a level of mediocrity, you know, that says to our children that you don't have a choice when it comes to sex. And the one thing in the Bible that Adam and Eve had is choice. That's all they had, matter of fact. You know. So they're telling children and abstinence is not a choice. How weak is that? How mediocre is that? That you saying, I'm a heterosexual and I could turn down one of the most beautiful women. I mean, I was just like, I was feeling this chick. I was like, you know what? I've been to going to this club and I ain't seen no other woman that I would be really that interested in. But then she got pregnant. And then after she got pregnant, you know, I was like, okay, you know, I'm not gonna, you know, go after a chick. You know, she has a family situation that she needs to deal with. I'm not on that level. I've been there, done that, you know. I, I'm not, I'm not, you know, messing with ch- uh, uh, women that just had kids, you know. And that whole drama, you know. So uh, that's what I choose, you know, for me, you know. So, you know, my thing is about, you know, is that if I can have choice for for women that I truly am attracted to and want to be with and I decide for whatever moral or ethical reasons, you know, that are beyond on my control, you know, that it may not even be those that other people share, but I, you know, that my brothers don't share for me, because I'm telling you, it's not one situation. I have, you know, there are times when a woman told me, oh, that's your brother, and I'm already up in a hotel with her, you know, forget my shirt. It's really cool. uh, my man, Lamont Johnson, the actor, is coming in town today. I'm going to meet him and his families and stuff like that. But my point is, um, I got to do that later on if I see that. So I'm trying to get a few things done before I get to that. 
My point is, is that we always have choice. And accepting that kind of non-choice and moralist society where we accept immoral, you know, we're trying to say accept uh, immorality. There's a difference. There's a get difference between accepting, you know, things that are obvious truth. You know, when you're born, nobody has to guess what you are. You know, you know, you you black or white or Puerto Rican or Jan. Nobody has to guess that. You know, there's no, no, but when you talking about, well, you might be this, you know, you know, accepting immorality is not the same as, 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 as tolerance and to play and twist this. And so what I, I, you know, I don't mean, you know, they calling us bigots and stuff, but I can definitely say anybody that will tw twist the truth and, and, and put out our liars. So if I'm going to call gays anything, if, I, if you want to say I'm hating on gays about anything, which I do not hate uh, anybody who is a sinner, you know, homosexuality is an activity that you can choose to do or not. You mean, I can't stop my hand from going up. I can't, oops, you can't, uh, I have no control over my hand. I have no control of what I do with my body. That's an activity. You know, you can suggest anything. My body could feel anything, but I can decide what I can deal with and not, you know. So if anything, to twist the truth, I would definitely say gays, and I don't usually use this word, but to, to try to manipulate a, a, an activity into a minority group, <laughs> then celibate people should be a minority group. You know, people who abstain should be a minority group. To divide people based on their sexual activity. It's an activity you could choose, you know, to abstain or not. As abstinent people should be a minority group. You know, that's just, I don't understand that thinking. So, you know, to accept that kind of thing just really says, that, you know, that, um, you know, that to accept that untruth. I will say that if you're going to be gay, then that also means liar, you know, because that's a lie. If you're going to say that's the truth, then I would say if you call us bigots, then OK, fine. Christians, bigots, gays are liars, you know, so that's the new word. OK. And don't say gays are blacks. Uh, uh, gay is the new black. No, gay is the new is the old liars. 